Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I am trialing at the moment the Crystal Nails Nero Merlot 2 brush for applying oil gels, which is the brush I've just shown you. Um, I found my number one from the same range was a bit too um, firm and was leaving brush strokes. So I'm trying this one, which is a softer brush. Um, so you'll have to forgive any stray hairs um, I'm working this brush in. If you would like to see a video on how you prepare a gel brush, keep your eye out because that will go up on the channel soon. So, back to the task in hand. Here I'm applying a second coat of this royal gel colour. You don't really need it, but I really like the colour. So I'm putting a second one on there. And it's a really nice sort of baby, baby blue. So I'm applying a nice, generous coat, making sure my edges are capped. And I cure this in the light for 60 seconds on a tip and 30 seconds on a person. <laughs> That's because on a person, your, um, na your nail where you're curing is higher up in your lamp. So on recommendation, I have now started to use the Crystal Nails Extreme Clear Gel for encapsulating, and I was mortified, <laughs> as you will be, to see that it's purple in the pot. But it's fine. Works fine. So, I am putting a layer of the Extreme Clear Gel down because I want the inhibition layer, which is a stronger, tackier inhibition layer than gel polish would give you um, because I'm going to go in with some angel paper. So I'm going in with this Angel Hipper from the Glitter Fairy. I'm sizing it up. You can see it's got a nice blue tinge to it, so I thought it'd be great for this nail. I'm going on to this baby blue background. And what I tend to do is rub the Angel Hipper over the nail so that some of the inhibition layer transfers onto the Angel Paper itself. And then I crumple it up and then I put it back down onto the nail. I just find this gives it a little bit better adhesion. So as you can see, that is now creased. And I'm just going in with the Extreme Gel from Crystal Nails. And I am encapsulating this angel paper taking care to cap the edges um, going underneath the angel paper if i need to any bits that are sticking over you don't need to worry about those they will just file away So as you can see, I've now snipped away those edges and I am going in with a second layer of the Builder Gel to further encapsulate this angel paper. I wanted this to be sort of a mermaidy aquarium style nail, so by overworking the product I have got air bubbles in it, which I actually wanted in this design. I wanted it to be sort of watery mermaid like so yeah that's what I went with and then I've got filing in this video <laughs> so once I've cured the um, clear gel I'm filing with a 180 grit file this is from uh, Nail Harmony I have stopped using NSI files because I just find they don't last as long and the 180 grit harmony files are much stronger and last longer than a 100 grit NSI file, in my opinion. So I'm going to file this nail nice and smooth.
once I'm happy with that nail I will um, wipe over with some cleanser to get rid of all of the dust and I will then top coat I have left a little clip at the end here in a second <laughs> um, where you can see the finished result I really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching if you're not subscribed already please please do and if you're not a member of the Nail Tech HQ Facebook group please go over and add yourself if you are a nail tech looking to join a Facebook group. Thanks for watching.